A total of 217 billion kwacha has been proposed in the 2025 financial year. This represents 26% of the GDP. Finance Minister Situmbekom Sokotwani says about 174 billion kwacha will be financed by domestic revenues, while 8.2 billion kwacha will be grants from cooperating partners. This was when he presented the proposed national budget to the National Assembly. So 217 or 26% of the budget is of the GDP is what we are spending next year. Out of this amount, 174 billion or 80.2% of the budget will be financed by domestic revenue, while 8.2 billion or 3.8%, less than 4%, will be grants from our cooperating partners, and the balance of 34.7 billion or 16% will be financed through borrowing. Domestic borrowing will be 15.4 billion quarter or 7.1%, while 19.4 billion or 8.9% will come from external sources. And government has set five macroeconomic objectives for 2025, and this includes attaining a real GDP growth rate of 6.6%. Madam, to build economic resilience and improve the livelihoods of our people, government has set the following macroeconomic objectives for 2025. First objective is to attain real GDP growth of 6.6%. Second is to reduce inflation to six to the range of six to eight percent. Third is to maintain international reserves above three months of import cover. Fourth is to increase domestic revenue to at least 21.3 percent of GDP. Uh, fifth, to reduce the fiscal deficit, budget deficit, to 3.1 percent of GDP. And lastly, to limit net domestic borrowing to 1.9% of GDP. Meanwhile, government has proposed the introduction of an advance income tax at 15% on remittances exceeding 2,200 United States dollars. A rate of 10% has further been proposed to be introduced as excise duty on the betting amount. Money and you have a valid tax transfer a tax certificate, no problem, because you know you pay taxes. But if you come from nowhere with millions and millions, billions, and you want to transfer money, and there's no evidence that you pay taxes, then a condition for allowing you to transmit the tax is that 15% tax is going to be Withheld. And government says it has made significant progress in restructuring the country's external debt. The finance minister says this has created the much-needed fiscal space for implementation of developmental programs to the benefit of the Zambian people. Sharon Siame, ZNBC News, Lusaka.